There are approximately 200,000 festivals in Japan and there are quite some weird ones amongst them. Together with Simone, we're going to discuss the story behind some of Japan's weirdest festivals. Simone, let's start with the one around the iron penis. Ah yes, the Phallus Festival. So there are two main festivals, one is in Kawasaki and one is in Aichi. And basically it's a fertility festival, um, so locals come to pray to have um, children, but it's also a fertility festival for the crops. So it's enjoyed by the whole town, the whole community, and um, there's lots of fun food, lots of penis-shaped food, phallic-shaped objects that you can buy at the festival. And yeah, I think it's a lot of fun for everyone who goes. And uh, speaking of the phallus, let's talk about the Naked Men Festival. What's the aim of all these men running around naked? Well, the Naked Man Festival usually takes place after New Year's. So it's a purification festival and everybody strips down and goes into the ice cold water because it's winter at the time and just to cleanse and kind of start the new year with a fresh feeling, fresh look. And um, afterwards, everybody goes to the shrine and gets blessed by the priest. So it's basically just bringing in the new year with a bit of a bang, I would say. <laughs> and what about the one around the floating dolls? In ancient Japan, they believed that um, dolls could possess evil spirits. So in order to expel the spirits, they would take special handmade dolls and float them down the river. And over the years, this evolved into what the festival is today. Um, it also celebrates girls. Um, we have a Boys' Day festival in Golden Week. So this kind of became the, the, the day for girls. And they celebrate by displaying the dolls in their houses on special platforms. And what is the story behind Yabusame, the festival around archery? Uh, so the archery festival happens throughout the year in different places in Japan. But the one I went to was quite special because they take a young boy aged 14 from a local school and they train him for about a month um, to actually ride the horse and shoot at targets. And if he shoots at a certain amount of targets, it means that the town will be prosperous for that uh, harvest season. So the one I went to didn't end so well because the boy fell off the horse. So it was a bit traumatic, but in general, um, it usually turns out much better than that. <laughs> and uh, what are other festivals we shouldn't miss out on when we're in Japan? Well, if you come to Miyazaki, uh, there's a great festival in my town called the Takanabe Lantern Festival. And it's held in the ancient castle ruins of the town. And the whole castle is decorated with paper lanterns that are lit up. And if you come early enough, you can actually help to light the lanterns. And it's basically just to celebrate the teachings of a warrior who was from the town. Um, but it's really beautiful. So it's one of my favorite festivals. I try to go every year. Cool. Thanks so much for joining us, Simone. And if you want to know more about these festivals, check out our website.